welcome back. Why am I like bent? <laughs> Let me know. Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a video all about my drugstore essentials. So pretty much these are the products in my makeup collection from the drugstore that I love and always have to have near me. It is wild today. The weather is wild so if you can hear birds, wind, noise. I apologize. I can't really do anything about the audio to be honest. I know it sucks but stay with me. Every time I do like a one branded review or whatnot on a brand, you guys are always like, what are your favorite drugstore products? Do you recommend this? Do you recommend that? So I thought I'd just sit down and like pick out my core favorites from the drugstore and just talk about them today. So probably over a year ago now, I did my all time favorite drugstore Australian products. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below or just go on my channel and you'll find it back like a year ago. Um, the quality of that video isn't the best and I kind of look like a hot mess, but I talk more in depth about things that I love from the drugstore and I still love all of those things, but these ones are just the ones that are like ride or dies, like my drugstore ride or dies, things that I'm like, I need. Okay, did I explain that video well enough? I don't know. I feel so weird filming to be honest because I haven't filmed in so long, like my models own video that went up last week, uh, that was filmed like two weeks ago. Cause I, what happened was I had a few days off from work and bulk filmed like four videos and then I needed to get them up. So I had to wait two weeks for them to go up until I could film my model, uh, model's own one. And then I didn't film last weekend and it's just been a while. So I'm here and I'm happy and I'm excited. So if I ramble a lot, that's why. I don't know if you guys have been seeing my posts, but if you want to see my videos and they're not coming up in your newsfeed, make sure you click the notification bell and you'll get a notification every time I upload. I love my makeup today. Ah, except the fact that I have like lipstick all over my teeth. I hope you guys really do enjoy it and let's go. I have to mention these bad boys right here and these are the Maybelline Fit Me Concealers. These are the best concealers from the drugstore. These are one of the best concealers of all time. I compare these to high-end concealers all the time and they're still my favorite. I have recently bought so many of these, like these have to be in my collection at all times. These ones aren't for me, the, the ones that I just recently bought. Um, Maybelline was on sale at Woolworths, Priceline and Coles all at the same time and these were only like $8 a concealer. So I bought like a bunch of them because they're gonna go on my kit. They're more of a lighter coverage, but they can be buildable and you can build them up to be quite full coverage. I like the color range, I like the consistency. It's very creamy, very blendable. Um, these ones I use personally myself. This is 20 Sand Sable and I use that um, under my eyes to highlight. And then this one is 30 Cafe and I use this to clean contour. Should I swatch? Because I don't have any fucking makeup wipes. This is an issue. I love these. I, they just always have to be in my collection no matter what and I always go back to them. Every time there's a sale, 40% off or they're just on sale at the supermarket or whatever, I'm constantly buying them, obviously. This is a new favorite for me, but it's something that I've been wearing like every day. Like I haven't worn full beat makeup like this in like over two weeks, but I've been wearing this every day. This is the Models Own Sculpt and Glow Liquid Highlighter. I reviewed this in my Models Own video. I haven't mentioned it in the current favorites or anything, but I'll mention it here today. I love the formula of this liquid illuminator. It's like, how do I explain it? So I'm gonna pump some on the back of my hand. That was a lot. But I really like the color because obviously you guys know I fake tan. So during the week, my face can end up being really pale and my neck can be really, what's the word? Orange? Yeah, I guess orange. Um, and I love using this as like a corrector almost like to make sure my face matches my neck. I like it because it's illuminating, but it's not like, if I wear this on its own, it's not gonna overpower my face. People are gonna be like, whoa, you look glittery and shiny. And it's a really nice color. I've got it in 02 Rose Gold. It's not sticky at all. It Products go on top of it beautifully. You can mix it in your foundation or wear it as a primer. You can put it all over your body. I just really, 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 really like it. And I really suggest it to everyone. I wanna get um, like the paler shades and stuff so I can wear this when I'm like fair. I just really like it. It's one of my favorite drugstore illuminators. I have to mention these because forever I've been obsessed with the Savvy Press powder and I still really like that powder. It's such a good powder for like $8, but these ones have definitely taken the cake recently. These are the NYX No Filter powders. I love these for multiple reasons. I have Honey Beige and Classic Tan. These are really good dupes for the MAC Mineralized powders. This is the one I use as a face powder. I don't know if you can actually see in the pan, but it's like baked. It's so hard to explain. 
It's like a luminous kind of powder, but it's not luminous. It's like a sheen. It has like a sheen to it because it's like baked. It mattifies the skin, but it doesn't make you look flat matte. And it's just got a really nice coverage to it. It's not like a foundation powder. I would tell everyone to go out and get this if you're oily or you're dry, especially if you're dry. I think you should try this out because it has like luminosity to it. It might not make you look too matte and it might be comfortable on your skin, especially if you need to set your foundation. But I love these. These are so good. So good. Pins and needles every fucking time. I need to learn to not sit on the floor with my legs crossed when I feel because I tend to always get. How long has my teeth been? This is the Maybelline Master Fix, and I really do enjoy this for multiple reasons. It's affordable. The mist can be chunky at times, but it's doable. I just like the way that it sets down my powders, and it's just been a ride or die for me. It never fails. I just keep it near me at all times. It works like um, Max Fix Plus 2. So if you need to make your shimmers more foiled and metallic, this does the job. It's just a good one, okay? I just I like it. This is a newbie too. This is my favorite drugstore bronzer and this is the model's own sculpting glow matte bronzing powder in 01 light tan and it's very caramel very like orange so if you're not into that and you're paler than me probably just won't go towards this because it will look like a hot mess on you it's just a straight matte creamy blendable pigmented bronzer and i love it so much my new fave over high-end bronzers I'm picking this up i'm picking this up more than my matte give me sun I need to talk about these blushes because I feel like people don't give them enough hype. People don't talk about them enough. These are the Essence blushes. These are my favorite drugstore blushes ever. This one especially. This is the Matte Touch Blush in Rose Me Up. And it's just a straight matte nude. Look at that nude. Can you look at that nude? Look at it. Look at it. Look at that nude. It's so gorge. Honestly, I just love this so much. Oh, it's got really good pigment, easy to blend. And it's not overly pigmented though, so if you make a mistake, you can get rid of it. And this one's a satin touch blush in the color Satin Love. And this is like a rosy kind of nude. Okay, so someone actually asked me the other day, I need a drugstore highlighter. What one for the drugstore? And I was like, bitch, why don't you own this? This bad boy is so flipping good. The Maybelline, I love Maybelline clearly, Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in 100 Molten Gold. This bitch right here is the best drugstore highlighter you'll ever get your hands on. It's probably one of the best highlighters in the world in my opinion. I own Becca, Fenty, uh, Anastasia, what else do I own? Ofra, Laura Geller. Colourpop. I own so many brands of highlighters, but this is like my top one, one of my top favourite. It is a very bronzy gold, but it just literally looks like metal on the skin. I haven't used it in a while actually, but look at that. Come on, you can't tell me that is not fucking stunning. And if you tell me it's not, there's something wrong with you. Colour, if you're like pale, this might look dirty on you to be honest, because it's like really rich in gold, but I don't know. I haven't tried it on my pale skin. I am like white as fuck, like I am so white and the whitest bitch you'll know. I'll blend right into this wall right here, so this is going to look dirty on me, I know. But, I don't really, I'm not really pale that often. Actually, that's a lie, I'm pale all the time to be honest. I just spent last two weeks being pale, and I just filmed a video of being pale tonight. But it's just, I don't know, it's not that I don't like my pale skin, like I'm comfortable, but like all my makeup I've bought for me being tan, so doing my makeup when I'm pale is actually like weird. I don't know how to do it. Like it's so weird. Like I don't know how to do my own skin. Like I've done other people's faces and other people's makeup when they've been pale and I've been fine at it. But with me, it's, it feels like so weird because I've just been a self tanner for like, fuck. Almost 10 years. Next thing is the Maybelline gel liner. This is the Eye Studio gel liner in black is black. Honestly, I just have to have it in my collection at all times. I'm wearing it today. Just a thin line on my top lash line to mesh my lashes in with my normal lashes. It's just an essential. It's a necessity. I just need it with me at all times. It's just super black. It's inky as fuck. This is another thing that people don't talk about often on YouTube, just like the eyeliner. Lash glue. This is the Revlon Precision Dark Lash Adhesive. So this is a black lash glue. I do like the clear one from Revlon as well, but they didn't have it so I just I just bought the black one. But actually I kind of like the black one better to be honest now that I've been using it. Um, even my beautician says that this is a really good lash glue because 
I get my um, eyelash extensions, but when I film and stuff, I... Fuck, I cannot speak. I get lash extensions, okay? But when I film and do like heavy makeup, I always apply strip lashes because I feel like my lash extensions like just get, I don't know, like hidden because all the makeup falls on them and then you have to like coat them with, it's just a hot mess really when you do your makeup with them, like when you're doing like heavy makeup. I, I love my lash extensions for like natural days and stuff, that's why I get them. And anyway, fucking rambling, I always have this stuck in my lashes when I go and get my lash refills and she has to get her tweezers and just like fucking pick it out. I'm like, I'm sorry, I didn't know. And she's always like, what the fuck is on your, like this does not come off, like what the hell? So I always recommend this lash glue, it's good. Another eye product, this is an eyebrow product. This is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. If you're looking for a dupe for the Benefit Gimme Brow, this bad boy does it. I still love this so much until I got the Gimme Brow. It's pretty much the exact same thing. The Gimme Brow um, wand is just like a hint littler than this one. This one does like pretty much the exact same thing. So I've always got to have it. It's just always in my, you know, around me because if I run out of Gimme Brow, I know I can go to this and I'm going to get the same effect. Because there's nothing worse than running out of your brow products mid-brow. I don't care who you think you are, if you're trying to do your brow and you're running out of your pencil, or your brow gel, or your pomade, or your brow powder, it's a bad time. So, gotta have backups around me at all times. Okay, so I'm not really a mascara gal, because as I said, I get lash extensions, so really, it doesn't really matter what mascara is what. Then I bought the Maybelline, the big... No, the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Time Shayla. This is finally available in Australia. It's like really black and it makes your lashes very voluminous. Can look chunky, but I don't mind about that. That's my new favorite one from the drugstore. And then I have two of my go-to lipsticks that I have to have at all times. And the first one is the Inoxa Lipstick in Peaches and Cream. This is a dupe for Max Flashpot. Me? One of them. It is a matte lipstick and it is nude as can be, but it is gorgeous. And then this one is, I've mentioned so much on my channel. I've got this and this and another one mixed on my lips right now. This is the Maybelline Matte Lipstick in Beige Babe. This is, like, she's nearly gone. This is my favorite lipstick of all time. I love this so much. I think everyone needs to own this. As you can see, compared to the Anoxa one, it's like, more mo like mauvey. It's more of like a purpley kind of nude, but it's still very pink. Like when you wear it on its own, it looks very nude on you, but it's just stunning and it's so creamy and so opaque that I just, oh, it just like melts into the lips and it's just, it's just a good lippy, okay? It's my, it's my lippy. So that is it for my drugstore faves, my drugstore essentials, my drugstore must-have. I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe if you're new here. Thank you guys so much for watching. It honestly means the world to me. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! What was